episode five of the Kardashians on Hulu is out. Let's break it down. This was definitely Mr. Disick's breakout episode. We start with Kim expecting to not have a surprise birthday party in this family, <laughs> as if. I did find it so funny when Kendall gave Kim a hug and immediately went to the food. That's me. <laughs> Clearly couldn't get a good picture, but one of my favorite things is seeing what they eat. She was eating chia seed pudding with her mom while she was studying to take the baby bar, which we know she passed, yay. And did you notice that her notes were literally laminated? <laughs> she just takes everything to a whole other level. I can't keep up. And the scene between Courtney and Kim was actually so cute. Courtney was like, I used to want to be an attorney too. We just found that out. No one ever knew this before. And she was saying how Kim kind of like follows in her footsteps. And Kim's like, whoa, 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 wait, are you referring to our taste in guys now? You said it on me. But this scene really did give like major big sister energy, which was cute. Cause like we don't always see the softer side of Courtney. Genuinely couldn't believe that this scene was allowed because there were literal needles going into arms. The fact that Kendall was like, this is what Haley and I do for fun. <laughs> Could it be me? Was anyone else so shocked with the way Scott was talking to Chris? Like, we get it, you feel left out, but oh my god. I'm glad that he's standing up for himself because he's right. They did always say that he uh, he was like a brother, he was like her son, he was a part of the family, whatever, whatever. But that's Mama Chris, go easy on her. Okay, then we cut to the scene where Chris is showing us her brand new house, beautiful, and Chris is like, yeah, this is my bar, my piano bar room. And then she goes, yeah, they have lychee martinis. Like, first of all, they? Who's they? What do you mean? When people come to my house, I'm like, I got a Truly, I got a White Claw. Which one do you want? But just look at that face. Yo, and when Scott walked into the house, he was truly so respectful. Immediately went up to Travis and was like, congratulations, brother. We got this cutie scene where Kim is clearly texting Pete. And she was trying to hide it and be like, I'll tell you guys later. Like, when the cameras aren't around, wink, wink. But, like, we now know literally everything, Kimberly. And the infamous Kendall cutting a cucumber scene. <laughs> <laughs> this fight was wild. This could have been on Selling Sunset. Who do you think was in the right? Who do you think was in the wrong? Because I don't even know at this point. What do you think of this week's episode? 